many of the municipalities and the major metropolitan areas across the country are in the process of, of establishing stormwater fees uh, that, that really take a look at the impervious cover, the existing and where new construction is proposed, uh, additional impervious cover that might be created by a given project, development project. These uh, stormwater fees are applied to the impervious area that's created and that exists and that funding is then used for implementation of green stormwater infrastructure within the major metropolitan areas. Many of these municipalities are ordinances required uh, that need to be adopted and programs that are being established, uh, asset management uh, for the systems that go into place, operation and maintenance of the green stormwater infrastructure and that's really the, the approach from a community perspective. Uh, these, these are things that are really not difficult for anyone to apply at their homes uh, within major metropolitan areas, large commercial areas and so forth is typically a scaling process that uh, that is involved and different green stone infrastructure techniques that would be applied in different situations. One of the, the best approaches really is to utilize what's called a treatment train approach. So you're looking at uh, a top of the watershed down approach that captures as, as much of the stormwater runoff in the, in the upper portions of the watershed, infiltrates it and reduces those vo volumes before they get into this, the uh, storm sewer system, whether it's combined or um, uh, separate storm sewer systems. That keeps it out of the uh, streams from a flow standpoint, keeps it out of the infrastructure, and increases capacity uh, for um, severe weather events uh, and so forth. Uh, that's one of the issues really with, with the uh, sewer systems that exist out there and the combined sewer systems. It's old infrastructure uh, that, that really needs to be replaced or needs to be upgraded uh, and there's a tremendous amount of work that needs to be done and, and little to no funding. So that's really the approach and, and it's a fair approach really from an impervious cover standpoint uh, utilizing that fee. Those, those areas with the greatest amount of impervious cover would obviously pay the, the larger fee associated with uh, the green stormwater infrastructure.